Now, Tony, this is the day many victims and their families have been waiting for. And for one man who lost his brother and sister in law, it's time to heal and push for stricter DNA collection laws. It's a day of closure for many families across California, especially for Bruce Harrington. To bring closure to the anguish that we've all suffered for the last 40 some odd years. Harrington's brother and sister in law were killed by the East Area Rapist, also known as the Golden State Killer, in August of 1980. It happened in their Orange County home. After the murders, Harrington went on a quest to advance DNA sample collection in California. He pushed to help pass Proposition 69 in 2004, which now requires inmates to donate their DNA to a statewide database. This isn't a current crime, it's an old crime, but it's finally solved by DNA. So it was 15 years until we finally heard that there was a DNA sample taken from our crime scene. And as the years rolled on, there were other DNA samples that became common to one unknown perpetrator. Harrington says his family's tragedy is fueling him to continue pushing for a more robust database in California to help victims and families like him seek justice. And Harrington's brother and sister-in-law were the Golden State Killer's fourth attack in Southern California. And coming up at 6, we have more chilling details about the killer's youngest rape victim who says she thought the attack was a joke at first. Just incredible to hear these stories. All right, Angela, thanks so much. Now